we've got another exciting freaking day. That's right, two days in a row, great earnings being reported here. We're excited. We're going to start here today with Facebook. Uh, Facebook, obviously the stock, you see the reaction here, down 5% after hours. Um, if you remember from my original uh, earnings to watch video, I called for a beat on uh, revenue as well as EPS line. Um, but, you know, by the looks of it from the stock reaction, you wouldn't think they hit their guidance. So uh, it's worth taking a look at, obviously, to put into perspective. Over the last year, the stock's had some fortune, really only up 25%. Um, kind of a shocker with, with the way other companies have been going up. Um, and especially at a company like Facebook, that's been really superior to a lot of companies. To see that reaction is a little strange, but... Let's see this down four and a half now, but again, it'll be it'll fluctuate quite a bit. Just looking at this right here, gap EPS of three dollars eighty eight cents beats by sixty eight cents. That's a massive beat. That's more of a beat than I thought. Uh, I thought we'd be sitting around three fifty. That's that's a really big beat in terms of profitability, and the revenue line's even more impressive. That's crazy. Up uh, twenty eight point zero seven billion, up thirty three percent year over year, which is a beat by one point six four billion. When you're talking about a 33% increase when, when your revenue number's over $25 billion, that's a large increase. Um, and a beat by $164 billion is not a joke. I mean, that's nothing to play around with. That's a massive beat. Uh, I thought it was going to be a 30% increase. Um, so to see that it's uh, uh, an increase of 33%, that's pretty massive. Um, really, really good to see that. Uh, daily active users coming in at 1.84 billion versus a consensus of 1.83, really good there. Uh, and monthly active at 2.8 versus 2.76 consensus, so that's also really good. Um, really good numbers there. So uh, from the CFO uh, here is saying at the same time, in the first half of 2021, we will be uh, we'll be lapping a period of growth that was negatively impacted by reduced advertising demand during the early stages of the pandemic, obviously. So that's why you're going to see a better increase year over year number um, where revenue kind of took a hit because of the uh, decrease in ad rates. Um, but we expect to see year over year growth rates uh, in total revenue to remain stable and modestly accelerate sequentially in the first and second quarters of 2021. In the second half of the year, we will lap periods of increasingly strong growth, uh, which will significantly pressure year-over-year -year growth rates. Um, <clears throat> so I'm guessing that means for 2022, uh, it's going to make it more difficult to see year-over-year -year growth. I don't know necessarily, um, but we'll see. Uh, we're expecting to face more significant ad-targeting headwinds uh, in 2021. This including the impact of platform changes, notably iOS 14, as well as the evolving regulatory landscape. While well, the timing of the iOS 14 change remain uncertain. Uh, we would expect to see an impact beginning late in the first quarter. Um, so pretty, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, uh, they expect total expenses in 2021 to be 68 to 73 billion, which seems like a lot of money, but shoot. Um, the company brings in profit like no one's business, but that is the same as the prior outlook. Um, investments in technical and product talent, as well as continued growth in infrastructure. Um, yeah. That's that's quite wild, but not a shocker. So let's take a look at the earnings slides real quick. Always important to look at that. Pretty crazy stuff. I mean, just the numbers originally, just they're looking really good. Uh, to see the stock down, obviously it's worth taking a look at now. Still down four and a half. Um, we always we always got to check in because so far I haven't seen anything that's. Uh, causing people to necessarily scare away from the stock. I think it's more of the broad market sell-off that might be getting to this stock than anything. Um, because of all companies, this is one that probably should be outperforming every other. I mean, this is one that's been the most beneficiary, uh, a big beneficiary of the environment right now, and it's doing really well. You see this daily active user chart and how consistently they've been able to raise daily active users. Really nice to see in that aspect. Monthly active users, the same exact story i mean it's every single quarter just good growth there it's really cool to see that uh, average revenue per user this quarter saw a massive massive jump in terms of average revenue per users they're bringing in a lot of money uh, in every segment uh, you saw growth i mean from u.s canada to europe to asia pacific to rest of the world every area saw massive year-over-year -year growth in terms of the average revenue per user 
which is really cool and actually a very big bump in other revenue if you notice in US and Canada so I'm gonna be curious when we look at that line what that is equivalent to but um, pretty cool to see family daily active people sitting at 2.6 now uh, pretty pretty big I mean of course there's only a limit to where that number can go but pretty cool uh, family monthly active people sitting at 3.3 that number is still rising as well just crazy to see family average revenue per user uh, again uh, revenue per person I should say a number that's continuing to climb and that other revenue has jumped up actually quite a significant bit we're talking about over double year over year so we'll be interested to see what that looks like uh, revenue as a whole again you're talking year over year jump in this other revenue uh, it's massive but obviously advertising the main portion of their business where they saw a seven uh, six and a half billion dollar increase in terms of that ad revenue it's crazy to see that happen um, just crazy I mean obviously ad rates have recovered quite a bit and this company with its extra users is quite the beneficiary of it so and we saw revenue by geography pretty consistent as you've seen uh, revenue by Facebook user per job uh, uh, per revenue uh, by Facebook user geography again similar story there nothing really changing other revenue is is where it's a, a line that's pretty wild to see um, just look at this line and how much it just smothers every other line I mean that's crazy to see in every segment the only I mean every segment um, saw increases so that's pretty exciting to see uh, expenses as a percentage of revenue nothing crazy here we see a decline finally we're, we're returning to some normalcy income from operations crazy to see a 12.7 billion dollar number there I mean that's really crazy because that's a number that this company's ever seen obviously we're hitting record highs in terms of that really good operating margin at 46 percent uh, pretty nice and they managed to, to hit an effective tax rate of 14 percent which is pretty dang wild um, net income line this company brought in 11.2 billion dollars this quarter that's freaking insane with all the expenses they put up too they still brought in 11.2 billion dollars that's off 28 billion in revenue I mean half of your <laughs> revenue is just net income coming back to you that seems incredible I'm telling you no company really does it better than Facebook in terms of this profitability line this this company makes money it just makes cold hard cash this record-setting 388 EPS line is incredible it's incredible capital expenditures guess what uh, on par with 2019 actually um, nothing too super crazy there so you got that going for you I find that just wild um, doing a look at the balance sheet obviously uh, real quick uh, they give me a year-over-year -year comparison which I like I'm expecting good things out of this balance sheet I really am just because I know this is a company that has a model balance sheet that few others can really compete with total current assets sitting at 75.6 compares to 66.2 billion uh, the year prior most of that is because of marketable securities they've added to this balance sheet total assets in general sitting at 159 billion compares to 133 billion um, really good growth there I mean you're talking about 20 uh, 26 billion dollars added to this uh, asset line and from a liability standpoint current liability sitting at 14.9 compares to 15 so really flat uh, almost year over year in terms of liabilities and total liabilities in general actually fell which is incredible 31 billion versus 32.3 billion holy crap in a pandemic year they just they managed to shrink their liabilities and increase their assets by a massive amount this is what I would say is incredible because this company its core business was impacted quite heavily during this because of ad rates falling uh, and that's obviously the vast vast majority of the revenue so to see that now this stockholder equity sitting at 128 billion versus 101 billion a year ago just shows to me what this company does and how incredible it is it's absolutely insane to see this equity increase by 27 billion dollars in, in a pandemic year I say it all the time no one does it better than Facebook they don't um, they really don't I want to see if I can scroll up and find anything about this other revenue but I, I mean what else can you say um, it's it's quite incredible to see what they're able to do there and they just don't 
It just seems like they can't be stopped. They don't show any comments about this other revenue, but again, this could be from all their platforms, really. Um, obviously, Oculus being one of those, you could think about that and how maybe that that could be part of it. Oculus sales. Uh, I'll be doing some more research into that, but I mean, to me, the stock's still down four and a half. I I, I don't buy it. Uh, let me refresh this real quick. Let me refresh this real quick. Ooh, we're back to nearly neutral because I'll just be honest. This thing is a, in my opinion, a screaming buy under three hundred dollars. I won't lie to you. Um, I think it's completely unfair. Fifty-two week highs sitting at three hundred. I don't know why this stock is even down in the doldrums where it's at. In the past year, the thing's climbed only twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Let's get this clear. They've risen revenue over that amount. Are you kidding me? 30% growth year over year in a pandemic year. The balance sheet is literally best in class. What in the world? I, I don't see what's going on with this stock. I don't see how uh, this was the reaction. Again, I think it was a broad market sell-off that led to this reaction because I saw nothing negative in there. I see very positive results here. Facebook, this company, they run a, a, a tight ship here. Um, really good job by them as usual I mean they're they're state-of-the-art state-of-the-art business if you want to model balance sheet I think this is the company you look at I think this thing's still a buy at these levels I think five to ten years from now you'll be very happy with that uh, because they're gonna continue to do great things and eventually they'll they'll transform that balance sheet uh, all that extra cash into a dividend producer too so just keep that in your mind um, as things go but exciting stuff. I hope you enjoyed this and you have a great day.